Deputy Vice-Chancellor, friends. May I begin by expressing my warmest thanks to the University for the honour done me today and to my more celebrated namesake for an over-generous and humbling commendation. As most of us in the higher education business know, there's a white paper on higher education doing the rounds. One of the things it recommends for the future of higher education is a teaching excellence framework, which will check that you're being taught properly. It's proving rather difficult to decide how you measure whether you're being taught properly. Should it be the number of first-class degrees a university turns out? Should it be the salaries that graduates earn within two or three years of their graduation? No pressure. <laughs> I suspect the answer lies in a few words which are conspicuous by their absence from the white paper. And the words that are most vivid in my mind when I think about excellent teaching are imagination, enjoyment, and commitment. If in your time in this university you have learned something about those three things, you'll have learned what a university has to communicate. Imagination, the capacity to say it doesn't have to be like this, and the capacity to enter into how somebody else sees a complex and challenging world. <coughs> Enjoyment, the sense of being overwhelmed, enriched and enlarged by what you're studying and an appetite that goes with it to go on being enriched and enlarged. And commitment, a challenge to put your own security and safety on the line when necessary for the sake of what you've discovered through your imagination and your enjoyment. I have confidence that a university like this conveys those values and those visions. Confidence that that's what you'll be taking out into the wider world. And thus far, that's pretty much what I'd planned to say this morning. But in the wake of nightmare events unfolding yet again in our continent, and I say our continent with forethought, we need to think about how some of those values and some of those visions impact on a world of intense and spiraling violence. A lack of imagination is to be re resigned, to be reconciled, you might almost say, to a situation of ongoing rivalry, struggle, and suspicion. That's lack of imagination. A lack of enjoyment shows itself in the sense that you have to defend all the time your own position, your own security, at the expense of everything and everyone else. And it's not so much a problem of lack of commitment as of the wrong kind of commitment. Commitment to defending only what you understand and only the people who are like you. In the face of violence like that, these values take on a new edge and a new urgency. We need to go from a university like this with another kind of commitment, a passionate commitment to the good of all the interdependent good and well-being of all, carrying with us the recognition that all real achievement comes from cooperation, not from struggle and rivalry. Universities matter enormously in our society and they'll matter even more in the future because they are the contexts where these values go on being nurtured and developed. I hope, as I've said, that your experience here in this wonderful university will have stretched and challenged you already. And I hope that the questions you have found valuable and meaningful and indeed life-giving here will go on being the questions that prod you and worry you and almost nag you into fuller life and fuller service. I wish you every good, every good luck every blessing, every success in the lives ahead of you. And I wish and hope, and because of all this, pray too, that these values will be part of the way you transform 
the society you're in. We talk about impact in higher education. The greatest, most tangible form of impact is transformed people. That's you, and that's the people whose lives you will touch. Congratulations, and thanks.